Hello everyone, I am Verdant T, and I'm back today with more Daymare 1998, and we're about to, uh, cut into a dead person's right hand. That's very gross, so we're going to just go with it. Okay, that didn't actually require anything. Access Hive, Hexaport Internet, Internal, whatever, it's their database. Dequade. I don't understand why the hell we have to keep these goddamn drags on. I get that the company wants to keep the workplace safe, but I've been parading around in this ridiculous outfit for five fucking years while my colleagues glow with their crisp white coats and stethoscopes and the smell from the cleaning supplies is just damn sickening. Now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't complain. The shit we lace the patient's food with as well as the town's water supply is certainly worse than any brand detergent. A lot of them are already suffering from the side effects, so much so in fact that a few premature deaths have been reported. On second thought, having to lie to friends and family about their loved ones being victims of a so-called phantom disease is a heavy burden I'd rather leave to the pretty boys in white, especially when you're dealing with the fam with families who have become fed up with the same bullshit diagnosis and seek out a second opinion, in which case the situation becomes especially complicated when the company is forced to intervene. On that note, getting a fat pay just to feed the animals the poison they cook up in the labs is something I can definitely live. I can defiantly live it. That's, I, it's some, at least for a few more years. Then things will change and I'll be rewarded for all my efforts, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that they're going to do a wonderful job taking care of you. All right. Let's go ahead. I'm just curious real quick. If I can do this. Oh. Okay, this is to make certain things and what's required so if I want let's say a special ammo box I can go into here empty out my handgun Oh, that's right. R to empty. Then go here. Trade. Special ammo box. Yes. Alright. Now what the heck is this special ammo? Why did was I so confident? Okay, so hollow point. Good, good. Good, good, good. Um, all right, now how do I get out of here? Oh, I had to exchange the ID tag. Got it. What the hell is going on in this place? Secret control rooms? Continuous monitoring of the citizens of Keen Sight? How is it possible? That they didn't ask me to join in. Rude. Welcome to Night Vale. Yeah. 
You ever notice how video game hospitals kind of have an arbitrary design? Like, two beds in this one room, there was one bed in the other, and then you step outside and, look, there's the garden right in front of you. Seems kind of weird. Shut up. No, not you again. Ow. Come on. I know you're gonna stand up. Like the biggest pain in my butt. Speaking of butts. <laughs> Shot him in his butt. Come on. You gonna stand up again or are you done now? Hmm? I think he might actually be done. Good. I really did not like that guy. By the way, how badly did he injure me? My health is at 70. Eh, that's pretty bad, but I'll live. Already been in there. Let's head back to the doctor. The doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of shooting use. This is a freaking ammo for a hallucination. Friggin' unreliable narrator. Nope, won't let me leave. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now let me in. No. No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. Ah. Indeed, you've proven yourself somewhat trustworthy, but more so reliable. I simply can't waste such a talent. I have another task for you. What the fuck, man? Listen, I'm with him. I ain't parading around your hospital risking my damn life chopping corpses for you. I see. Yep. But didn't you say you came here to collect something from my latest patient? You have a now shotgun. That doesn't leave you much of a choice, does it? So let's cut the chatter and get uh, back to the oh task. Oh wait, no, hand. that's up. Uh... First you do something for me, then I do something for you. Doc, I hope for your sake that son of a bitch is really in there. Cause if he ain't, and you're riding me like a donkey, I'm gonna tear you a new one. As tempting as that um, sounds, I'm afraid you'll just have to trust me, Mr. Walker. Let me assure you, however, that I am a man of my word. <laughs> so what in the fuck should I do this time? I want you to take this key. How you can 5, use it to access the lower 9, levels of the building. Oop. There you'll find a door that looks surprisingly similar to the one oh, the device unlocked. Uh, if it winds up By being now, the computer a AI thing. Works. Once inside, I'll explain the rest by radio. 
Have a nice walk, Mr. Walker. <laughs> Real clever. Oh, wow. However did you think of have a nice walk, Mr. Walker? Darn. You are astoundingly smart, sir. I still don't know that three digit code for this locker, do I? There's something on a desk somewhere. It says it, but probably not. Um, Okay, well. Very much a waste of my time right now. Oh man, we could have gone to the morgue. Ah, oh. wait. Why are the morgue and the entrance right next to each other? <laughs> Does not give me a lot of faith in this hospital. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there, buddy. How you doing, pal? Oh. I do like the fact that when you run out of bullets for your gun, it actually shows the slide pulled back. Like, that's accurate to when a semi-automatic pistol is out of ammo. Kind of like that little detail that they had. Okay, you can't put in spooky music all of a sudden and not have anything there. It's like against the rules or something. Oh wait, that ambulance is up like that. Do they have an in-house car mechanic at this hospital? Sweet, more override cables. Oh, file. Personnel ID, Keen Sight Sacred Heart Hospital personal ID card, Elias Raymond Surgeon, security level two. There's a personal card marked on the back. The numbers are 251. 
Maybe that's what I need for the locker 251. More hollow points. There's an alarming amount of ammunition in the hospital. Although I suppose this is also the base for the government organization thing, so it I'll let it slide, but still hold that it's too much ammo for a hospital. I'm gonna go back and see if that code works. Why? Because I want to. That locker's bothering me. Locker bothering me. Going to Kazi. If I can open it, it is annoying. And I'm getting off track. But I will get back eventually. Just want to double check. I'm obsessive at times. Just trying to listen out for any secret doors. Honestly, I don't know. I thought I'll listen too hard, but if I do come across it beeping, I'll try to find one. I didn't say 257. It was 251. Okay. Well, good. And the locker door pushed me back. <laughs> Nice, got some special slugs for my shotgun, my boomstick. Okay, yeah, that's just that. Poor unfortunate person. Oh, whatever. Okay, so back to the elevator again. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, from Ipanema, she said, Love the Oh, man. I don't know what it is about the girl from Ipanema, but that's always my go-to Muzak song, like just the, well, it's not a Muzak, that's my go-to song, just for some reason, it's just catchy. Like, the Sanity stuff or whatever kind of reminds me of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, except not really executed as well, because in that one, you... Oop. Ah. You didn't really know that it was a fake-out until the end, whereas this, you know it's a fake out because the screen actually changes color. Okay. 
guess it's time to reload with the uh, hollow points. Could this be that 667 one? Oh wow, it was. I was just kidding. Oh. Not gonna complain about it though, I'll tell you that much. Use that to regain some stamina, and then what are you? Mental fluid. Hmm. Come on, may as well stood up. Seriously? Not gonna stand up at all? Okay, fine. Alright. Time to hear what's bugging Cooper. I had him with his damn job. It's been five fucking years since I started keeping tabs on that Ronald. It's driving me crazy. How can you hope to get useful data from a brain dead invalid stuck in an unrelenting coma? I'm beginning to think that maybe I should be the one to nudge him into terminal dreamland. Well, if that's the only way to convince upper management to assign me a new task, then so be it. At this point, I'd be better off a vegetable myself without the slightest sensations of being stuck in this goddamn job. And this is you now? Well, I got some good news for you. Oh, Cooper was the one who was supposed to relieve us at the tower, but didn't show up. That's right. But if he was working for Hexacore, can't I just take out his little ID chip thingy too, or...? Reasonably long hallway. Ew. I heard the beeping. And that was rather suspicious looking place. Doc, I'm here. It looks like an archive of some sort. Precisely, Mr. Walker. Keep the chatter to a minimum, though. This time you won't have to shred corpses. Just park your tush in the chair by the PC and initiate the archive self-destruction sequence. The process should be rather simplistic. That is all. I really don't like that guy. Newspaper clipping. Keen Sight Herald, May 24th, 1952. Contagious disease strikes the maternity ward? In Tarot Bank? According to several eyewitness reports, it would seem that all patients admitted to the maternity ward of Sacred Heart Hospital in Keensight have been struck by a mysterious affliction. The hospitalized women in various states of pregnancy have simultaneously experienced symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and in severe cases, loss of consciousness and temporary paralysis. As we wait for confirmation from hospital officials in City Hall, we urge the friends and relatives of the people hospitalized in this department to contact us with any news on the status of their loved ones and the babies in their wombs. The Vermilion Post, May 27th, 1952. So, a few days later. Sacred Heart Hospital case, details from City Hall. After three days of intense rumors regarding a mysterious disease in the maternity ward of Sacred Heart Hospital, city author authorities have at last shed new light on the matter at hand. Late yesterday morning, an urgent press conference was held at City Hall where Marshall Donovan, the spokesman for the mayor, confirmed that an epidemic had in fact occurred. 
although it was immediately rectified thanks to the diligent efforts of the medical staff. In addition, it was not possible to diverge further details due to an ongoing and sensitive investigation and process. More importantly, however, it has, become, it has been confirmed that the afflicted female patients are free of danger due to a special treatment developed in haste by specialists at Hexacore Biogenetics. According to these reports, this treatment will not affect the mothers and unborn children in any negative way. Teen Sight Daily News, June 20th, 1952. Exclusive new details on contagion at Sacred Heart Hospital. Our confidential sources have offered new information that, if confirmed, could shed a rather disturbing light on the mysterious contagious disease. If it's not confirmed, then it's very... Very irresponsible of you to have written this article and said it. Which struck the maternity ward of Sacred Heart Hospital in recent weeks. According to our sources, pregnant women were unwitting victims of a biological nerve agent infection. This particular agent is useful in combat and treated with atropine, the same remedy used on patients in the maternity ward. We therefore ask ourselves at this point how this is even possible and if the parties involved are as powerful as one might think. The Red Crest Chronicle, June 27, 1952. Sacred Heart Case, Keensight Police Department breaks silence with disturbing revelations. This morning, the Keensight Police Department broke its silence on the cases on the case involving Sacred Heart Hospital, revealing an unbelievable and incredible twist. According to Police Chief Lambert, who emphasized that lack of information by police was, import, uh, was important to their investigation. Lack of information is important to their investigation. Okay. The outbreak was, in fact, malicious in nature. The suspect is Jay Prasers, a nurse of the maternity ward who is believed to have suffered a mental breakdown and Intentionally infected patients ward with hazardous materials stored in the laboratory for safekeeping. The rest is speculative as perhaps in a desperate act of guilt, the, sus the suspect attempted to flee the city with authorities in pursuit and lost control of her vehicle atop Silent Cliff Road, falling to the edge of Bear River and crashing into the coast 40 meters below. According to police, the suspect is presumed dead even though a body is not expected to be recovered due to strong currents in surrounding, in the surrounding area, I guess. No, in surrounding area. All right. With no way to verify the true motivations of this heinous she-devil and with patients in the maternity ward returning to their normal lives, the case is now closed and along with it, the most disturbing and terrible pages in the history of our peaceful little town. Okay, why was it one, two, three, four separate newspapers that covered it all at different times with different information? That's just weird. Super mental fluid. Uh, boost reaction time along for faster reloading speed as well as precision targeting. Eh. All right. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh. I'm just going to have a cut here and skip to the end. Okay, you can't just do a music sting like that when nothing is happening. <sighs> yeah, I know error. Okay. I did that. I'm also going to see if I can turn back on the sprinkler system because they mentioned that is needed to put out the fire if some brave soul okay i apparently cannot do that 
Please stop doing the music stings when nothing is happening. Oh, that was for the deletion of data thing that exploded. Okay. Oh! <laughs> And she was a hallucination. Come on. I got real acid spit on me by a hallucination. Story of my life. Ooh. What's happening here? That's not looking good. Defeat the Melted Man. Do you know the Melted Man, the Melted Man, the Melted Man? Do you know the Melted Man in the hospital parking garage? Ow! get why I had to defeat him rather than just running away from him, but okay. He's defeated. Okay, yep. Okay, now does this hospital have anything new or shiny now that I defeated Milty Boy? No. Nothing over here. Man, this hospital sucks. to one says he's going to make me do another little quest thing rather than actually doing what we agreed upon. Guaranteed, he's that type of jerk. Just making sure there aren't any secret hidden doors. Protocol. It has not been maintained. Hey, Doc. I'm out here. Now let me in. Oh my, Mr. Walker. Welcome back. You have indeed proven <sighs> reliable. I must admit, I couldn't have done it better myself. Listen, man. I almost died covering up the shit you people have got hidden in here. The shit you're a part of, Doc. I thought your job was to save lives, not destroy them. Do not presume to lecture me, <clears throat> Mr. Walker. I will not be scolded by the likes of you at a time like this. Oh, pick it a different boils time. Down to business, money, and power. All of which the company has more of than you can begin to fathom. But I'm still useful to them. They'll come for me eventually. They'll come for Sure me they eventually. will, buddy. I too am reliable. And that is exactly why you and I have one last task to complete. Oh, fuck you, oh. man! 
Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Well, <laughs> I can't get fooled again. I'm done! Just shut it and listen. An acquaintance of mine, Dr. Kimball, went missing and out of radio contact while carrying out an important job. He did, however, re-establish the signal just a few minutes ago. From what little I gathered, we've only got a few minutes to save his life. And who better than reliable you to rush to his aid, hmm? Complete this one final task for me, and I will gladly throw open this door and invite you to inside. Let me reassure you, Mr. Walker, that I am a man of my oh, word. fucking hell. All right! But that's it! If you don't open the door next time, I'm gonna find a way in there, and you ain't gonna like it. That won't be necessary, Mr. Walker. Dr. Kimball seems to have locked himself in the east wing of the facility. But I'm not sure how long he'll be safe there. So please, rescue him as quickly as possible. Good luck. Good luck? He's holding a key. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here with us, of course, getting another little quest thing we have to do for the doctor. If you enjoyed it, then please go ahead, hit the like button. If you want, you can leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. And if you subscribe and push the bell, you'll always know when, we, when I release a new video. I hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, stay awesome. Bye now.